Wow. What's up everyone, my name is Sean Hodgins and welcome back to my channel. So if you've ever seen one of my projects, you'll know that I'm a huge fan of these brass heat set threaded inserts for plastic. They're really great to use because um, it adds a really secure connection to the plastic, which is pretty cool. And I just enjoy using them. They, they give a really nice finished look to the product. So I actually have a soldering iron that is specifically for installing those. But the problem with this is that uh, for PLA, which what I mostly print in, it gets way too hot. So I have the insert for an M3 and it works pretty good for like 30 seconds and then it gets too hot and I have to unplug it. It's really annoying and uh, I'd rather use one with my Hakko soldering iron. So I've been wanting to do this for a long time and now that I've got a lathe I'm going to. I'm going to make a couple of inserts for my Hakko soldering iron so that I can install M3 and also M2 threaded inserts because those are the ones that I use the most. Anyways. Let's get to it. So what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna take out my current soldering iron tip and I'm gonna use this as a reference on the lathe and I'm gonna cut it to similar dimensions where it needs to be so that I can uh, install threaded inserts with it. The good thing about this is that I can set it to different temperatures depending on what plastic I'm doing. So I've got the reference here and I know it's going to be shaped similarly to that with the end that will allow you to install the threaded insert on the end here. So I'll probably reference that to the actual insert when I'm on the lathe. I know that it gets pushed up against this shoulder so that the maximum this should be. We're going to go 24 millimeters here. So it's about 14 and then this is going to change depending on what threaded insert we're doing and then the diameter of this is 6.8 and I'll have this down there with me to reference. If you're cutting metal or wood or anything and you have your own shop in your basement or house you definitely need to get an apron. I haven't been spreading metal chips all over the house anymore so yeah it's pretty awesome. Also, there's a link in the description to this one. I actually really like it. Some of this metal has been around since my grandpa had his own watch repair shop, which was like 20 years ago now. No, wait, maybe 25. So that's pretty cool that I'm using it. Also, you'll notice I've already changed the tool post to a more heavy duty one. It was uh, definitely necessary, so it's cutting much better, and it's way more repeatable in where the tool lines up. That's the most important thing. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to mark some lines on this with my calipers. I'm going to like find the distance and then just scratch them in. And since I'm cutting sharp corners in, I'm just going to use the uh, cutoff tool to make the cuts. I keep checking with the actual insert to see if it'll fit on there. So we've still got a little bit to go. go. Really nice fitment. Now we'll have to face that off and Pour that down using a drill. All 
All right, the first one uh, is finished. It looks pretty good. I'm gonna make the second one, which is for the M3, and then we'll go try them out in the soldering iron. All right, we got the two cut, and yeah, they look good. Let's see if they fit. Perfect. Let's install, uh, let's see if I have something to install one of these in. All right, I got this little part here to install two of these M2. By the way, I forgot to mention, you actually can't even get these M2 inserts even for the other soldering iron. I mean, you might be able to somewhere, but McMaster Car doesn't have them. I don't know if I've seen them before, so you have to make this anyways. Well, that is absolutely perfect. And it's gonna make things a lot easier. Also this one, there's a bit of a reach down to the hole. Let's, let's see how that goes. Beautiful. It works. All right, everyone, thanks for joining me on that quick build. Uh, I hope to start to make more videos of these smaller projects because everyone seemed to want me to do that. And um, also, why not? I'm, I enjoy making videos and as my shop gets more organized, it becomes easier to make those videos. That's the hardest thing was the disorganization and everything, it makes it more difficult. So that's what I'm really trying to improve. Anyways, I'd like to uh, thank my patrons for sticking around and yeah, everyone, you know the deal. Be good and have a good day.